Hello, uh, welcome to Weird Music on the Glamberger channel. Today, uh, this is the show where we look at weird, unusual music that strays off the beaten path of normality and into realms where anything is possible or something or other. Uh, today we're looking at another weird album, surprisingly. Easily one of the most bizarre albums I've ever come across, uh, which was recommended to me by one of my fellow band members. How he discovered this, I have no idea, but he knows a lot of weird music, so hopefully we'll get some more good recommendations from him. We are, of course, talking about Of by Othram. <laughs> So, before we start this one, I'd first like to give a mention to the wonderful Cactus Malpractice, who did a brilliant job of enduring this album for his series The Worst Album Ever Made. And while I mostly agree with his very fair and logical points on it, uh, I for some reason actually really like this album. <laughs> so, first things first. Orthrealm is an experimental technical metal project featuring Mick Barr on the guitar and Josh Blair on the drum set. And their music is very absurd and weird to say the least. For the most part, you get Mick Barr on the guitar, uh, absolutely shredding away on it, and Josh Blair just keeps up with the drums, keeping that momentum going, and just bam, 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 bam. It's pretty much just that. Most of their songs are sort of short, minute-long ditties that sort of warp you into the next dimension with their technical intensity. And I'm kind of reminded of the works of, like, Naked City, only without the screaming and stuff, or Lightning Bolt, for example. Um, it's just technical guitar playing and just pushing it to just an absolute extreme and making it crazy and mental. But what makes Of so special, then? Well, Take everything we now know of Orthrealm, that intense shredding, that drumming, and the pacing, uh, those minute long songs, and then do that for 45 minutes. <laughs> yeah, 45 minutes of intense electrical guitar and drum just pounding away over and 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 completely ridiculous, and it's easy to see why this album drives people completely nuts. And yet despite everything, I for one find there to be something incredibly engrossing about this album. Like I listen to it and I'm just drawn into this weird hypnotic state of it, it's, it's crazy stuff really. The more of goes on and on, the more you just get lost in that miasma of guitars and drums. And there's an incredible rigid structure that actually holds the composition together. The, the two of them are just completely melded into this sort of weird synergy as they play this 45 minute track. And it just barely lets up for the entire length of the, of the song. Just relentlessly pushing that agenda, bam, 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 and just tread away on the guitar to the end of days. It's like one of the parties trying to follow the structure of it, what's actually being played but the sheer nature of it just forces you to just get lost, thrown away, and you find yourself wandering your own mind's eye where everything feels weird and oddly uncomfortable for the most part. And it feels like this impossible auditory endurance test for the most part. Um, and whilst it's not tonally unlistenable as some things we might look at, looking at you, Merzbab, uh, it's just such a mindfuck to try and get one's head around, despite it simply being drums and guitar. So it's kind of impossible to actually talk about this album in terms of its movements and composition. I mean, as the track goes on, it does shift around from what it's technically doing, like it's not just shredding the same part of the guitar, he'll move around and shred different parts for long passages of time. However, the sheer nature of that repetitiveness just blurs anything that's happening all, and puts it all together into one big thing. And the only thing, real thing I can attach any meaning to in, um, for myself is the opening drums, which is the big bam 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 kind of thing going on. And then there's the ending as well, where the whole composition just stops and you're left with that that sort of, you're sort of left sort of battered and bruised by the whole experience and it's 
that kind of Merzbau thing where, uh, you know, on a much lighter scale though I'd argue, where there's this real sense of calm and peace that comes over you because this whole relentless experience that you've just undergone is just, it's gone. It stops now. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, there's not really much else to discuss on this record. It's such a, just such a mindfuck of a record. It's just bam, 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 da 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 this kind of stuff going on. It's easily one of the most unique and wackiest recordings ever composed, and it's so weird and impossible to even put into words. It's simply what something you just have to go check out for yourself if you want, you know, the ultimate endurance test of shred metal, right? Um, before I sign off, though, I would like to thank my my best friend and uh, bandmate Omar for introducing this one to me. I forget how we even came, with, like how this came up, but. I just remember just being like, kind of, when he first showed it to me. And of course, I would like to thank Cactus Malpractice for his very entertaining take on the album. It's a wonderful video, I'll link it in the description, just in case you haven't heard of it. But his video, go check it out. I mean, the guy's doing very well, like, getting yeah, lots of subscribers, definitely needs more. But, yeah, for now, that's all I really have to say about Off by Off the <laughs> It's, yeah, it's a very peculiar album. Definitely, definitely something for weird music, right? But for now, I hope you take care, all the best to you, and bye bye for now. Bye bye!